When we started talking about the finale, we discussed going farther than you can even imagine. And I think that's what makes this such a dynamic and epic episode. We always knew we wanted to write this together and it was probably the hardest uh, episode that we ever, ever had to film. One of the things about Outlander and Diana's books is not only is it a completely immersive love story, it allows you to go into all aspects of humanity, good and bad. There is quite a lot of rape in this book series and you know as a show and as actors you know i think we all feel the responsibility of not taking those storylines lightly and approaching them with sensitivity we worked so hard to make sure that every single beat felt true and honest and, and respectful and in order to pull it off it relied on complete collaboration with Matt, Tony and the rest of the team. My responsibility as a director is making sure that we're not shooting anything we don't need as far as the potential gratuitous nature of that violence. It is very much a collaborative process with Katrina. One of the things we talked about was how important it was not to empower the violence, literally staying with Claire and shooting it in a way that the violence during the act of the rape, you can barely see it. We had done a lot of research that said that women, often during, during these kind of attacks, can dissociate. And, and that's a safety mechanism that your body and brain does to live through something like this. We had thought one thing that Claire might do is go off in her head to a different place. It is very much a psychological device that Claire has created to protect herself. We knew we all had to come together and create a non-specific time, but you have to start off somewhere. So we started off with the 60s, and then it kind of morphed into an amorphous time that doesn't really have a period. We came up with this metaphor of that she wraps her family around her. Jamie comes up behind her and wraps a blanket around her, the way that he wrapped his kilt around her in the first season, because that's a symbol of her protection. As people watch the episode, they'll probably have to watch more than once to see that what Claire's looking at is an abstract of Fraser's Ridge, mm -hmm. and that there's elements of Fraser's Ridge coming in to the scenes as they grow. If you're going through a trauma, the darkness is going to creep into the dream escape. Where that evolved was to find these moments of like Lionel in the window or the, the leak in the ceiling that's happening and her worry about that, that Roger and Bree might be dead because they've left and did they make it through time to where the end is actually policemen at the door saying they're, they're gone, they didn't make it. When I pitched this to Sam and Katrina, Katrina said, I'm willing to show it all, to do it all and to look like she's been abused. For me, yes, it's, it's a horrible situation to have to sort of go through these um, rape enactments. But for the, for the guys, I think it was just awful that they had to inhabit these horrible rapists and they were all so respectful. But I think you wanted to feel real and visceral. I think that was really important to have Katrina be 110% involved in this episode. We really tried to do something respectful, but we also tried to shine a light on the fact that even though Claire is this strong character, strength isn't just, you know, bullishness. Strength is vulnerability. Strength is also experiencing pain and allowing yourself to be broken to a certain extent. She's strong, but she's not superwoman. And so we do have that moment also in the hallway where it just hits her because that's what happens in real life. You go along and you think you're gonna be all right and then she actually faces Lionel Brown when he's brought into the surgery. But so many women do that, like the bravery of the women these days that go to court and face their attacker. That doesn't mean she's not damaged and that she won't feel it for the rest of her life. And Katrina did a great job on that scene. It was an absolutely wonderful collaboration with everybody involved uh, in the Outlander team. And I think it's the most collaborative art form that there is. And when you have a really evocative, provocative story to tell, the fact that you're telling it together um, made a big difference. We can hopefully shed a light on something that people go through in real life and in some way then be part of a positive conversation about it. We're at the beginning of a journey with Claire and I think it'll take a long time for her to 
put the pieces back together. But the great thing is that she has a loving family around her who also unfortunately understand this experience all too well and that that is something that really gives her a lot of strength.